the Grade 1 Ascot Chase is next. This is two miles and five furlongs. As you can probably gather, we are now back at Ascot. Let's take a look at the field. Gold Coast at the top for Kevin Minahan, Loyal Alley for Leon van Rensburg, Maguro Blade for Patrick Hogan, and Speedy Kuchizov for David Robson. And both newcomers, the Overlord, Josh Whistler, and the Thinker Martin Leadham, Anna Capri for Stu Gray, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Scintilla, Padraig Hogan, Fabulous Prospect, David Hooley, Gated Complex, Darren Thompson, Mega Craig Beckwith, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leadham, Shooting Star, Graham Clutterbuck, Sky on Drove, David Robertson, Swain Forkbeard, Leon Van Rensburg, and the Long Pause for Joshua Sutherland. So away they go. It looks pretty windy. Look at those trees blowing away in the wind as they make their way towards the first of the 16 fences. And it's Mig who's gone into the lead. Gold Coast, though, is keen on leading as well. And those two have gone off at a pretty fast pace as they race towards the first of the 16 fences they've got to take in this. And it's Mig in front from Gold Coast. And they get over the first. A uh, couple of mistakes. The two David Hooding horses both made mistakes at that one. And it's a short run to the second. Both record enough for that one. The one that made a mistake this time was Shooting Star. So already into this ditch, then these fences come up thick and fast down this part of the track. And Mig is the leader from Gold Coast in second. Oh, he's gone. Mig's gone. He just never took off there. He ran straight into the fence and Gated Complex has gone as well. So two down there. The pace was pretty hot, but Mig, it just like he just forgot to jump and just ran straight into the fence. And he's out. And that's left Gold Coast. In the lead, then clear by a good three or four lengths to Loyal Alley in second. In the long pause is third. Sapphire and Steel is fourth. Then Swain Fortbeard on the outside of Artistic Rose. Then Anna Capri on the inside as they take the fifth. With at the back Mig Hero Blade just the back marker at this point there. So they're inside the final two miles. They're racing up the home straight. They're passing the big crowd. And it's Gold Coast. He's going to lead them over this one. It's over it nicely, the whole field jumped that one really well. As they race past the stand then now, that'll be the final fence on the next circuit. And uh, they'll race past the winning post and they'll swing out on that final circuit now then in this Group 1 Ascot chase. And it's Gold Coast who leads by two from the long pause in second. Artistic Rose on the outside of that one is third. Anna Capri running a big race is in fourth. Then Loyal Alley and Schwartz, Sapphire and Steel. Then Swain Fortbeard after that one. Fabulous Prospect and Scintilla Speedy cuts his off. He's also trying to make a bit of a forward move. Maguro Blade is still just a back marker. But Gold Coast in front by about four lengths to Artistic Rose in second. And queuing up behind them, there's probably only six lengths between second and last. But the leader, oh, Gold Coast, he nearly went then. He really took off early from that one. And he's now only two lengths clear. The field begins to bunch. Gold Coast in the lead still, despite that mistake. Oh, fabulous prospect. And Sapphire Steel and Swain Fort being one or two of these are still running quite wide on the track. Gold Coast seems to record from that mistake and is still a length and a half up from Sapphire and Steel, who's now second. Scintilla coming through on the outside as they take that ditch. They're all safely over that ditch. Shooting Star is now the back marker, but it's Gold Coast in front. Swain Fort Beard, the Overlord, is coming through. Scintilla's still there. So is Sapphire and Steel as they get over the tenth. There's still plenty of jumping to do. They're inside the final mile now. And it's Gold Coast in front from Sapphire and Steel in second. Fabulous Prospect is third. Then comes Scintilla and Swain Fortby and Anna Capri is still there running on nicely. The Long Paws and Loyal Alley. Then the Overlord, the Thinker, is trying to get in with it as well. Then Skyron Drove and Artistic Rose with Shooting Star and Maguro Blade still at the back. Well, they're swinging round this turn then now. And they've got Gold Coast in the lead. Gold Coast from Sapphire and Steel wide on a track with Scintilla. Over the 11th they go. And it's Gold Coast in front. Now being pressed though by Scintilla and Scintilla might have taken it up over the 12th, they got four more attacks, a crashing fall there for Sapphire and Steel, and Scintilla is now being pressed by Swain Fortbeard, over the third last they go, 
and it's the fourth last that was and it's Swain Fortmere who's in the lead Swain Fortmere from Gold Coast that's the third last Gold Coast made a mistake and suddenly the Leon Van Rensburg pair of one and two it's Swain Fortmere and Loyal Alley from Scintilla here comes Fabulous Prospect round the outside Gold Coast is trying to run back into it Speedy Cut is off he's now coming into it as well but Fabulous Prospect has swept into the lead with two to jump it's Fabulous Prospect in front Swain Fortmere is second Loyal Alley's back in third then comes the long pause and Speedy Cut is off Still trying to make ground over the second last. It was a much better jump by Swain Fortbeard, who regains the lead. But Fabulous Prospect is trying to fight back. It's Swain Fortbeard on the outside. It's Fabulous Prospect on the inside. They're going to the final fence. It's all going to be coming down to the jump. Here comes the Overlord and Loyal Alley and the long pause as well. They're racing now towards the final fence. Over it they go. It's a better jump by the Overlord. And the Overlord's gone on. And the Overlord's in the lead. Loyal Alley is trying to fight back. It's the Overlord and Loyal Alley. And Loyal Alley's beginning to get up. Loyal Alley. He's going to take it. Loyal Ali's going to win it from the long pause. He's got up to be second. But he's not, not quite as close. He's got up and he's beaten him. It's the long pause that takes it. And once again, the commentator calls the finish too soon at Ascot. You see that totalisation board coming up and you think the post is a lot closer than it is. And it's the long pause that took it in the last few strides to beat Loyal Alley, it all changed in the running didn't it because it looked like it was going to be the other pair that were going to fight out the finish but it's the long pause that's won it for Joshua Sutherland, Loyal Alley for Leon Van Rensburg was second, the Overlord Joshua Sutherland third, Gold Coast Kevin Minahan fourth and Swain Falkbeard for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth, Fabulous Prospect ended up finishing only sixth, it looked like it was going to win jumping the last so there you go and a pretty thrilling finish despite the Commentator nearly getting it wrong.